Hey everyone, Reptile Sam here. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about different tanks and tub setups. I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys some different size aquariums and vivariums you can use in the tubs that I use and some tubs and aquariums that I don't own that I think would be really good ones. And so Eddie and I wanted to show you guys some of the cool aquarium sizes and tubs that we have and recommend some things for y'all. This here is one of the most common size aquariums you will see and probably use for most of your snakes. This is a 20 gallon long aquarium. It's called 20 gallon long because there are some 20 gallon tall aquariums that are shorter this way and taller up. They're usually used for fish. So right now Geiger is living in this 20 gallon long aquarium. Tom and Sprout have both lived in them before and it's a great size aquarium for a lot of snakes. Edgar also lives in a 20 gallon aquarium and you'll get to see his little place too. So a 20 gallon long aquarium setup is gonna be great for a lot of different snakes and reptiles in general. My good friend Boss here, well she lives in a 40 gallon breeder tank. And again, these are called breeder tanks because of how they're shaped. But a 40 gallon breeder tank is gonna be perfect for most bearded dragons unless you have an extra large bearded dragon. And then some other snakes like larger ball pythons um, and some smaller carpet pythons. Or if you have like a particularly large uh, corn snake, that'd be okay too. They would love this. So a 40 gallon breeder tank is going to be great for bearded dragons and some of your me medium sized snakes. So I already have this set up and this is directly below where Geiger lives now, and this is a 75 gallon aquarium with a screen lid with currently two, four, six, eight locks on it. And this is where Geiger will live when she's an adult. I have it now because, because I found it on sale and everything I needed for it was on sale, but she's too small to live here now. But this is a 75 gallon aquarium, and this would be good for snakes up to six feet long. You guys can see the little brickster right in there. Well, he is in a 10 gallon aquarium right now. 10 gallon will be great for smaller snakes like sand boas or a male western hognose. Also for a young colubrid like Brick. Brick is so small right now that he doesn't need a 20 gallon or a large tub. So this little 10 gallon with the screen lid and some books on it to weigh it down is perfect. He would live in the V35 tub in my rack system but he's so tiny, he can escape from it. So, Brick is currently living in a 10 gallon aquarium. Now, I wanna mention some really cool front opening enclosures that I don't own, but I think that most of them are made by ZooMed and other companies like ZooMed, and they're front opening, which that's, that's really good for your snake's humidity because you won't have to spray their tank as often as you do with these tanks that you've seen with mine that have screen lids because screen lids allow out humidity really easily. So you have to be really careful about your snake's humi humidity level because it can get really dry really quickly. So front opening enclosures are really cool. They're usually a solid glass construction and they look really nice too. So I don't own any, any of those but I do think that they're really awesome. Especially the ones that are like 40 gallon breeder tanks that open straight out or your more arboreal tanks that open up straight like that. So those are really neat. Um, also, uh, that are really cool, I don't, don't own yet any, are the Vision tanks. So I own the Vision rack, which you guys have probably seen and I'll show you again. But Vision tanks are really good because they hold perfect humidity levels, they have a little space for your heat bulb or your light bulb, they have a recessed area in the bottom for heat mats, and they're really cool t tanks. They're pretty expensive though. So things like that or your other PVC constructions like from uh, Animal Plastics, um, some other custom enclosure sites. There's one I cannot put my finger on there for some really cool enclosures too, that are different colors. Things like that are, can be really expensive but are really good quality. But the front opening all glass enclosures are really good for humidity levels and you don't have to put quite as much effort in to making sure that your reptiles have the proper humidity. So those are also really cool. They're a little bit more expensive than your typical glass aquarium with a sliding screen lid but they're really cool and they really help out your humidity levels and you get some really good visibility on your animal. Lastly, we're gonna show you guys the dimensions and the sizes of these vision rack tubs. 
So up here I've got the V35, and these are about five inches tall, and they are pretty good. I like them a lot. You could put some smaller king snakes like the Theri Nueva Leon king snakes in there. Most Western hognoses, even females, could fit up here. All sand boas can fit up here, and then young colubrids, but not too young, because as I said, the brickster could escape. There's a tiny gap right here, and that's where Brick can escape from. So you want to be careful about putting two small colubrids in here, but this V35 would be good for smaller colubrids. Now the rest of the rack has V70s, and V70s are nice and long. They can hold um, pretty much any colubrid except for false water cobras. They need a lot of arboreal space to climb, and um, they're really smart animals and need things to look at. Uh, they can hold articul articulated pythons up until about two, three years of age. They can hold pretty much all ball pythons, come in here, even your larger females. Um, you might be able to get away with the carpet python in here. It might be a little bit too small for them. Herman lives in here right now because he is a small boy and he might not get too super big. But even if Herman does need a new enclosure eventually, Herman will be able to live in his V70 for a long time. There are, of course, other options like building your own enclosures. That's always a thing you can do. I haven't done it personally. I think it's a lot of work, and a lot of times they don't look as good as ones you can buy. But I've also seen some really cool custom enclosures, too, that people put a lot of effort and time into, especially custom-built racks. So it's up to you which way you want to go for your pet reptile. But let me know what sizes enclosures you guys keep your reptiles in and what your favorite way to keep your reptiles is. I'm Reptile Sam. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel. Check me out on Instagram at reptile.sam. So until later, this is Little Eddie. I'm Sam, and we'll see you guys later.